That day, when all the engines heard that Mr. Conductor had came to Soto, they were very excited. Soon, they were working harder than ever before, and the engines did try their best to avoid Diesel 10. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. <sighs> it's not fair! How come Sir Tom Hat chose you to collect Mr. Conductor? James does make a good point, little Thomas. You know, collecting passengers is a big job. Important is big. James is a big engine. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. Why, you're all just a bunch of grumpy engines. You should be thankful that Mr. Conductor is here. You know, if I didn't collect Mr. Conductor, bad things would happen. Thomas is right. You know, if Mr. Conductor wasn't here, bad things would happen. What do you mean? You know, like the Lost Engine, and the Gold Dust, and the Legend, and Diesel 10. Oh yes, Emily is quite right. You know, this legendary Lost Engine is the fate of our existence. And if Diesel 10 finds her, then we'll all become extinct. Ah! Every engine for himself! Call the fire brigade! We're all gonna die! Would you all stop being a bunch of sissies? We are not gonna die! If Diesel 10 wants to find this lost engine, then I, Thomas the Tank Engine, shall try to find her first and save all of you from Diesel 10's wrath. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Thomas. You find the lost engine? <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you all. So, they're laughing at Thomas's size, eh? Yeah, but they won't be laughing soon once Harold the Flopper Chopper comes by, <laughs> right? Hello, chaps. I'm just doing my normal fly rounds. Don't mind me. <laughs> the boss dumps cinders and ashes everywhere. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, watch my paintwork. Cinders and ashes. Uh, did you mean to look like that? Uh, neither did I. This must be Diesel's doing! A choo choo! Dear Mr. Conductor, where were you? My wife said that we can't miss our holiday. We'll telephone if anything bad goes on. Signed, Sir Topham. Where were you? What the? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? Mr. Conductor. Oh, good afternoon, sir. I've just come to ask you how your first day at work is going. Oh, it's going quite well, sir. The engines are all right on time, and everything's going around like clockwork. Dash good. Hey, um, I've got one question about your new engine, Diesel 10. Go on. Well, Thomas told me that Diesel 10 is this evil diesel with a scary claw, and he's planning to kill all the engines. Um, why did you exactly hire Diesel 10? Well, you see, he was the only one available. What? The only one available? The only one available? Are you kidding? There must have been hundreds of engines looking forward to her job. You're telling me he was the only one available? You know, for the last 16 years, the diesels you hired were good friends to Thomas. If this new diesel wreaks havoc on Sodor, it's not gonna be pretty, buddy! Um... Uh, okay. What's that all about? <laughs>